Here we go with today's mostly interesting Thanksgiving is over, which means the turkey is likely gone unless you live near Boston, Massachusetts. According to The Guardian, the community of Woburn is being attacked and intimidated by a group of five wild turkeys. The group, along with its leader, a turkey that's been nicknamed Kevin, <laughs> arrived two years ago now. And since then, they've been pecking at people's cars, they stopped traffic, they even scared joggers. So according to the Huffington Post, the neighbor who gave Kevin his name says that he's a, quote, bad egg. <laughs> she described the toxic turkey behavior by saying, quote, when Kevin's not around, they'll actually just mind their business and walk away from you. She also named the four hens that he hangs out with, Gladys, Esther, Monica, and Patricia. So <laughs> the big question is, I feel like, why Kevin? Like there's a story there with the neighbor it's got to be talked through in turkey therapy. <laughs> like, it's got to, like, get it off its chest, right? I mean, it's got to be that, but... It's problematic. This also happens at the corner of Millersport and Flint. <laughs> <laughs> I work at UB, and we've had turkeys peck at people's cars. Yes! Yeah. I don't know. I don't think it's Kevin, but <laughs> it's, it's very alarming because you hear this noise, and you're like, what is going on? Also, they're very large, which you don't really realize until you see one in person. <laughs> and I'm not gonna like corral a turkey back over to the street. So you just like carefully try and drive away. Like it's very alarming. I'd like to see you out there. <laughs> Kaka! Like, come on, go, go, go. Shoo, go, shoo. Go be with your rafter of turkeys. You know? <laughs> That's what they're called. I Rafters. love that you know that. I yes. just looked it up. <laughs> I don't know it. <laughs> it's good. Independently. But so we have a turkey that scares you. What about a polar bear that makes you say, aw, while some of us were shivering, from just how much snow we got, the polar bear at the Buffalo Zoo was in heaven. Look at Luna digging, rolling around, <laughs> and just enjoying the weather. That is one happy polar bear. Look at her. This is feel good stuff. It is. This is just something that I could watch on a loop. Yeah. And be very happy with. Next to the Yule Log this year, we'll have Luna playing in the snow. I, I mean, honestly, I would like to try that out. <laughs> I, Let's just run a full hour of the Yule Log and this and see where that gets us. Ratings will be like through the roof. Through the roof. Yeah. That's what I'm a little bit afraid of. <laughs> but also so I get upstaged by a polar bear? Yeah, uh, easily. I can get upstaged by a house cat, so it doesn't matter.